Glad to be back with you again on Earth Power. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. We could be entering a new era in energy and an era renewable investors and environmental advocates have been touting this century. Yes, costs are technically going down for solar and wind. But can that truly be translated onto a larger scale? We attempt to answer this and more questions today on the program. Just stay with us. Feldham, a sleepy village in eastern Germany's state of Brandenburg, some 60 kilometers southwest of Berlin, is home to just 140 people, but has become a symbol of what can be accomplished with renewable energy. Its electricity is produced by modern wind farms and a photovoltaic solar energy park built on a former military base. Heat is made by biogas plants filled by wood chips. We have lots of energy, we have a surplus here. In 1995, a local entrepreneur paid for Feltham's first wind turbines. As farmers started to worry when prices for their milk, potatoes and beets began to fall and energy prices started to rise. They learned they could earn cash by renting their land to energy companies wanting to install a wind turbine. The Feldheim wind farm is quite a, a big one. Uh, my company owns about 55, is now nearly 60 wind turbines here, but the whole wind field comprises more than 120 wind turbines. So it's one of the most important or biggest uh, wind fields in Germany. The wind farm was not installed from one day to do another. It, it took quite a long time. And right from the beginning, the inhabitants here, the locals were involved in this project. First of all, first of all, the wind turbines stand on the ground, on the land, on the premises, on the property of the inhabitants, and we pay them a land lease. So right from the beginning, every, everybody here was involved economically. And you see, your own pigs do not stink. Yeah? If you involve people, if you make them part of it, and you pay them rent, and you and they see jobs are created here. Mm -hmm. We can paint our houses, we can, uh, uh, we, we can, we can modernize our houses, and new families are coming. We have, once again, sh small children in the village, and people get convinced from it. Okay? But you have to make them part, you have to involve them. At that time, state-of-the-art, 500 kilowatts, it was a real, real, real big one in 1995. Now it's a dwarf, okay? And we developed this wind farm in the, in the coming years up to now 55 machines. You see those last machines, uh, Enercon 115 of 3 megawatts. Uh, a, a capacity which produce about 9 million or 9,000 megawatt hours per year. In comparison, the first machines, 1 million, and now on the same spot, on the same piece of land, but of course, taller towers and bigger turbines and bigger generators and rotors. So we, can now, we are now able to produce 9 million kilowatt hours. A local renewable energy company, Energy Kell, saw the potential as well and decided to install a wind farm with four turbines in the village. 55 wind turbines today dot the Feltham landscape, providing income to farmers who leased their land to the energy company. While 9,844 photovoltaic models are mounted on 248 tracking systems in the Selterhof solar farm. Back in 2008, when the renewable energy fever was catching on, Energy Quell bought a 111-acre former Soviet military site about five miles from Feltham. It cleaned up the toxic military waste and hidden ammunition and constructed a 284-panel solar farm that produced more than 2,700 megawatts hour per year. Its power is fed into the grid at the feed-in tariff rate. We purchased this area of about 20 hectares for one euro and, and we cleaned the mess up. You had lots of ammunition and, and, and military uh, residuals and this costed about two million then. <laughs> the city council had, didn't have the money to maintain the, the, the area and we, we, we bought it for one euro. I have to give it back while we rented it for, mm -hmm. for 20 years and after 20 years we will pull away our solar trackers and uh, restitute it to the city council. That same year, the town of Fedham and Energikel established a joint venture, Fedham Energy, 
The new company built a biogas factory that converts pig manure and unused corn into heat, taking advantage of the community's 700 pigs and 1,700 acres of arable farmland. The biogas plant is fed from the town's agricultural cooperative and produces 4 million kilowatt hour of electricity a year. A 400 kilowatt wood chip furnace fueled by the byproduct of forest thinning helps to firm the power from wind and biogas. 10,700 kilowatt hours of primary control power is provided by the regional regulating power station for transmission system operator 50 hertz and 259,000 liters of heating oil are saved in Feltham every year thanks to the local district's heating system. For CTEC, you cannot only produce electricity with it, but also heat power. That means a biogas station has a combustion engine which produces energy by being connected to a generator, but uh, a byproduct of this is warm water, hot water. And this hot water is used here to provide the families with shower water and, of course, hot water for, uh, for, for the radiators. You know, it gets very cold here in winter, about up to 20, 25 degrees Celsius below zero. Financing of the renewable energy for Feltham came from a pooled effort by the local energy consumers, the municipality, the local utility, and additional support by regional government and the European Union funds. The effort has paid off. The wind farm combined with the biogas plant provides electricity for the national grid more than 250,000 kilowatt hours per year and uh, uh, a million kilowatt hours, sorry, and about a little part of it, about one million kilowatt hours per year, is directed directly via a physical electricity line, a cable, into the village. So it's not only on the balance sheet, but it's directly physical provision of green energy from the wind farm in combination with the biogas plant into the village.